Ready and go. <laughs> Oh yeah. As it says in step one, turn the car off for 10 to 15 minutes before removing the accelerator plug, meaning the plug under the hood that attaches to the accelerator pedal controller. So turn car off, key out of the ignition, remove that plug after 10 to 15 minutes. 15 is probably best. Always wait the high side. Okay, this is the wind booster throttle. Um electronic throttle controller um, and it's a really 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 fun uh, deal um, I'm gonna be installing it on my car it basically it's pretty easy to install so I had the box open so it's a little screwed up there's the inner car controller it comes with a Bluetooth app so you can control it through Bluetooth and wiring harness which is really simple on the ML, uh, which is what I'm going to be hooking it onto, it hooks up underneath the hood uh, to the uh, throttle con uh, electronic throttle controller, which has a cable that comes up from the pedal into the throttle actuator um, for the pedal. It's, it's cable operated on this one. On newer models, it will be right attached to your pedal. But we're going to install this. It's going to be quick, pretty quick. Just have to take off the air box here or the fuse box cover here and run the wire down into the engine, into the uh, interior so I can run that little um, module and put it on top of the dash back in one sec. Okay, again, I'm gonna be installing this on the ML350. Your installation could be different. I'm installing it on this car because that's the car I have. And um, I'm an M ML350, 320, 430, 550, 500, fuse box cover, pop open the main lid and you're going to take out these four screws or sorry not the front ones no the back ones sorry the back ones one two three four five this is a torx t oh god can't read it 20 i believe Screws do not have to come all the way out. They will stay within the top of the lid. Uh, I did unscrew that one enough. Or at all. There we go. And if you can see straight down there, if I move it around, see the light shining through? Because I've got the door open. You're going to shove the wire down through there for the main unit. The little, um, it's like a USB connector goes to there and the white side comes this way. Of The wire comes this way. Shove it down there and then we're going to mount it on the dashboard in a few minutes. But right now we're going to run this wiring up and we want to get it to the throttle controller. The um, electronic throttle controller. Again, this one on the ML. This goes to the pedal, this wire goes to the pedal, the controller goes to the throttle body. And this is going to go in between the controller and its main wiring harness. It's pretty simple, it's two wires. One plugs into the old one, one plugs into the, it basically just goes in between <laughs> the two wires where it plugs into the throttle controller. And uh, back in a second, once I get that wire down fed into the uh, driver's compartment and I'll show you how I hook that up in there. Okay, so here's the controller wire where I pulled it in under the dashboard. It came in down here. I wound it around behind the parking brake and then pulled the rubber weather stripping off the side of the door and I'm going to wrap it up and onto there and it will attach to this little controller here. And this one comes out. Where is it? Where did you go? There it is. 
under the oh oh I pulled on it too hard <laughs> ah, right here there's a longer piece of wire that connects uh, between there that'll come back and allow it to come back through the fuse panel and up back up to there I'll show you that connected in two seconds okay so I've got my controller adapter here I've drilled a tiny little hole here on top of the fuse box so that the wire can come out this wire is going to come out here and I'm going to weave this under the wiring ah, where'd it go right here and connect this side with this side oops I think I got it upside down yes I do so those two connectors that one now goes to the front and that can pull through like I was doing before Make sure I got enough cable up front. You have quite a bit of room. And now this is the control unit. It's very simple. It just goes in between the two. I'm going to pull the EGR or the, uh, yeah, it is the, not the EGR, the um, uh, fuel vapor. What do you call it? <laughs> anyway, brain not working today. I'm just trying to do this really quick because we have tons of rain in the forecast this is the first time I've been able to get to this so here's the original connector on top of the um, on the electronic throttle and this basically here this is your throttle pedal pulling this sends the signal through this to the throttle body push on the little tabs one on each side and wiggle it out now the new unit it's going to connect between the two. This side, the original plug. This side, or the old one plugged in. Oh, get out of the way. stay out of the way of the camera but I can't see the damn thing roundy part up okay plugged in move this over there's nothing moving here that's going to get in the way of this so that can just get zip tied to here anywhere along there I'm going to use the extra wire pull that through my little hole in the fuse panel top Pull the wire back down and then I'll be able to pull as much wire as I need in there and I'm gonna zip tie this on in a few minutes but not right now because who needs to see zip tying it's pretty if you can't zip tie you shouldn't be doing anything ah. and if you can't hold the camera you shouldn't be doing anything either should you anyway there's the so once I put this I'm gonna put a bit of silicone in this in a minute but first, I'm going to put this back on before I lose all my light. Yeah, I can get to that from behind. Good. screw these screws back in the five screws back in a few minutes okay we're basically done the installation other than the zip ties and 
I don't have one with me. And again, I'm trying not to lose all my light. So I am just gonna use one of the, for now, the twist ties that came in the box just to hold this in place. But I will zip tie it somewhere later. It's out of the way and doesn't look like crap. And again, you're not interfering with anything right there. I can put my fuse box cover back on. And now we're gonna move to inside the car. I have to set up this camera, one second. Okay, hands are a little dirty, so I'm not gonna finish the installation completely. I'm not going to pull the double-sided tape off the back because my fingers are just gonna get it dirty. But the cable, I've run it up along the pillar of the door. This is not going to be pinched in. It's just going to be hidden by the rubber door seal. And that can be tucked under there, which again, I'm not going to tuck it under because this is white and I don't want to ruin it with my fingers. And the last part of the installation is just plugging the cable in. And I'm going to mount it around there and tuck this wire in. And I am going to finish this tomorrow because I'm, I know it doesn't look quite like it in the camera, but uh, it's almost dark. It's like nine o'clock at night and I'm losing light and I want to be able to do this in daylight for you guys to see everything. So for now, that's just installed. Okay, I figured I'd show you this part before um, doing the full test with you tomorrow and review tomorrow because it's dark and it's just easier to see this in the dark. So this is the display and these are the settings, normal, economy, sport, Sport Plus, Race, iAuto, which will um, determine the way you drive and, and adjust accordingly, and normal again. Now you can see when you hit the throttle, the further you hit the throttle, the little thingy, little graph moves up. Well, there's one setting on here that I think you should, I wouldn't even say, you shouldn't even think about, you should do it. And that is the mode button right here. There's a mode and then there's two as a plus and minus button. Um, let me get some light on that for you. A little bit, you don't need much. Oh, let me, one second. Okay, so here's the mode and the plus and the minus buttons, the left and right buttons. So now I'm gonna turn the flash off so you can actually see the display. Okay, so the mode button on the left is the one that switches between the modes again. So whichever, see the S there with the little line through it? That means do not save. And you do not wanna save your last mode that you were in. Because if the last mode you were in was race mode, and you turn the car off, you park your car in the garage and you go home, you wake up in the morning and it's, uh, you're getting ready for work, you're all groggy, you get out in the parking lot and you're still in race mode when you start this thing and you barely touch the throttle, you are gonna go flying into something. Uh, a, bare, a bare touch of the throttle um, in race mode is basically like flooring the, the accelerator. It's really cool and really fun to use, but not something you wanna use all the time. So what you do is take the M button, the mode button, and hold it down. Now you'll be given the option English and Chinese. Those are the only two options. And see the S means you will save the last mode that you were in. A line through the S, you will not save the last mode you were in. Put it in not save. That means the car will always start again. When you turn it off, it will start in normal mode again very 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 important i can't stress how important that is so i'm gonna oops, sorry push and hold and go back to the regular screen so the no s is on there the other what uh adjustment and i've got normal now economy economy you just up or down see the nine in the top right eight 
seven. That's how much, um, how do I explain this? It's going to be a stronger economy mode the higher the number is, meaning if you're going to, put the, the harder you push, you, when you push your gas pedal really far, it's not going to respond very quickly. It's going to give you really good fuel economy, but it's not going to respond quickly. And the lower you put the setting, the quicker it will respond. Now, of course, alternately, when you put it in sport mode, see it's on a six right now. If you put it on nine, the higher the setting, the quicker it will respond to the uh, the touch of the throttle, your, your foot on the throttle. And in race mode, essentially in race mode, um, you touch the throttle about a two, three millimeters and it's like flooring it, maybe a little more, say a centimeter. And it's like you push the pedal all the way to the ground. It really, really, really works good for taking off quickly. Um, if you're drag racing someone, that second or half a second delay between no throttle and pushing it all the way to the floor, well, that can mean the difference between winning and losing. But uh, it's really cool. Uh, you will, you're gonna see it when I show you how it tests tomorrow. It's it's pretty different. You, you'll notice. But what I'll show you right now, which I can because it's nighttime and easier to see the gauges. So I'm gonna put it in normal mode. So I'm gonna put it in normal. And I'm gonna hold the throttle at around 1500 RPMs. And I'm, now I'm gonna push. So we're staying around 1500, I'm gonna push it once, that's economy. You see the RPMs go down. I haven't moved my foot on the throttle. Sport. Sport plus. race <laughs> so you get the picture it just is going to give you a quicker much quicker throttle response in race and a lot less throttle response in economy meaning that if you have a heavy foot it's gonna even balance it out and make it more like you're a light-footed driver and give you better fuel economy um, Anyway, we'll wait for the cool test tomorrow where we are going to show you how this fastest thing, it's actually ridiculous. I won't do it at night because it's, uh, I don't want to run into any of the beasts that are running around here at night, any little animals or anything. I want to be able to see what I'm doing when I do this. And uh, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, sorry in the bright sunlight, this is hard to see, but I'm going to put this in race mode. so I can see bright sunlight, sport, race. I'm gonna put this in race mode to show you <laughs> what it's like. Now I'm gonna barely hit the gas. Well, I'm not gonna do it here on the corner of my street because it's a lot of people walking around. I'm gonna go up the street and I'll pull over to the side and then take off from there. But I'm... Yeah, you gotta be careful in race mode, like barely touching the gas. I don't, I'm not really touching the, the pedal right now. But anyway, I'm going to pull over to the side of the road. Well, I'm not pull over to the side. I'm just going to stop in the road and then we'll accelerate in race mode at that 80 zone sign up there. Anybody behind me? Nope, I'm not blocking anybody off. They'll just come to a stop. And I'm going to accelerate by just barely pushing the, the throttle pedal. all the way to the end it's like you've floored the throttle and it really goes do that one more time or it's not uphill oh air ambulance anybody behind me nope okay ready and go <laughs> Sport Plus, Sport, 
they're a little less aggressive each time you go and the aggressiveness of each one of those is like I've shown you on little plus and minus or the little left and right buttons it is adjustable and you do not want to leave it in this race mode uh, when it turns off so have the little s with the little cross through it the little no sign through it uh, have that engaged so it doesn't save your last setting and economy it is a lot less aggressive it's less aggressive than even normal the normal mode is your normal um, uh, your car's normal settings and economy is even less than that so you have to push the pedal a lot further in economy in order to speed up than you would regularly so it helps you with your gas mileage sport mode. <laughs> I have to take this out of race mode to drive, God. Especially with other cars around. It's not for regular driving. It's intelligent auto. Normal. Okay. That is normal? Yes, normal mode. And it's as easy as that to flip back and forth. There are other versions um, of this that have a Bluetooth built in and you can switch, switch all, it's really cool, you switch all the modes on your phone on an app and just, it's Bluetooth connected to your to the little controller and you tap which one you want. You got a screen on there and you just tap the button and it changes back and forth. It's easier to see, um, easier to do. You don't have to scroll through the modes. You just tap the mode you want. This works really, really good. Um, these guys are gonna give you a 10% discount if you go um, on their website and enter FUPABOX, which is my YouTube handle, F-U-P-A-B-O-X, put it in uh, the code and you'll get a 10% discount on this, uh, this controller here. And make sure you specify what type of vehicle um, that you uh, are installing it on. They have them for all kinds of different vehicles and this is the number of this one. I'm driving and I shouldn't be doing this while I'm driving, but hey, Neister. Anyway, great company, great uh, the back and forth between the company and the technical advisors and the salesman and stuff was like three, four times a day. Every time I had a question, they had an answer. So these guys are really, really looking out for their product and uh, are willing to help for no matter what issue you have. Anyway, give it a shot. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to the website where you can order this. And again, F-U-P-A B-O-X in the, uh, and you'll get a 10% discount. Thank you very, very much for watching. Really, really cool product. I'm leaving this on the car and it's coming with me on any further Mercedes that I've got. Uh, I like that race mode. I don't know how often I'm going to use it, um, but it's cool. Cool as hell. I'm not in an ML as much as uh, anything else, but I think the eco mode on this, which is less sensitive to the throttle, would be really good off-road. Um, and in really, really slippery or sandy conditions when you didn't want to, uh, um, to spin your tires, um, you know, when you're climbing hills in sand off-road or whatever. So in an ML, I think that would be a really useful mode for, for off-roading, the older ones, which people do off-road. Anyway, I'm ranting and rambling, uh, never mind. And again, FUPA box, uh, in the code and 10% discount, check the link below. Thank you very much. I'm giving away for free. Um, put want win booster in the comment section and I'll pick someone at random. Thanks for watching.